Hello you, you beautiful so-and-so, what's up? So some of you may or may not know, but way back in the long, long ago when my channel very first got started, I was uploading Dragon Ball Fighters videos. I've always been a fan of fighting games and the FGC in general, mostly watching. I don't play them as well as, I, as, well as I'd like to, but I do enjoy watching them. To me, uh, watching competitive fighting games is kind of like my version of watching soccer or football or whatever sport you guys prefer. And way back in, hang on, let me open this first one up. My very first video that I ever uploaded, November 2nd, 2019. It's been that long already. Oh, that's insane. Now, the last video that I uploaded for the game was in January 8th, 2020. So it has been more than a year, about a year and a half, since I've uploaded anything fighting game related throughout my entire channel. But today I'd like to change that with uh, a little bit of a mix up. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive, brand new Guilty Gear game from Arc System Works, same developers as Dragon Ball Fighters. I've been um, slacking with the game, I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking, haven't been playing it as much as I want to. But I figure the best way to show off my progression through the game, and as I get better, is to, you know, play it, but also make some maybe some videos for it, if you guys are up for it. And kind of, you know, chronologue my, my process in learning the game and getting better. Uh, the first opponent here, oh, very quickly, this costume is modded. I'm sure at least one of you will ask, yo, what's with that drip right there? Look at how swaggy, sexy, good Eno looks right now. Yeah, that's that's a modded costume. First opponent here is Amelia. I thank her for letting the intros rock. Gives me a time to properly explain stuff. So, Eno is my main at the moment. She has problems. She's not a perfect character by any, any stretch of the imagination, but I like her. She's all right. She suits my motif and the color, the modded color, oh. That Beals color. So this is genuinely the first Millia I've I've fought in the game so far. I'm also not. I should explain now. This is my first real Guilty Gear. I've I've messed around before in the past, but never, never like properly tried to play and learn the system. Like you know, learning Roman cancels and all that kind of stuff. So this is my first time properly getting into it and learning it. Um, and my first Millia, no less. Which is, we're both mix-up queens. The idea is we both set each other up by using Oki pressure and, and trying to force the person to guess and then get, you know, open them up that way. Uh, she's very much all about being in the air, so I need to try and keep her out of the air as much as possible. You'll see me angle my fireballs up into the air, use my burst there. Um, and she, she jumps in a lot, and you'll see me try and adapt and, and get my, my anti-airs down. But I'm still not used to using f um, forward punch to anti-air. I'm used to down heavy from Dragon Ball. So I make a lot of mistakes. Uh, block the raw super out of nowhere, trying to catch me up backing probably. And connects me there with her standing slash. Oh, first round. Nah, it's okay. We'll pull this back. We'll pull this back. Rainmaker? Nah. More like steady drought. We're gonna, we're gonna, oh my God. The down heavy at the very start. This is all post commentary, by the way. I haven't seen these matches. I haven't reviewed them. Oh my God, stop getting counter hit. I haven't reviewed them since. This is all just post commentary. I'm not good enough to do uh, to do live commentary just yet. There's the Oki. She sets up her little spinning disc and then she goes in. Thankfully, we jump out of the pressure, try and force our own pressure. Eno's dash. She doesn't have a conventional running dash. She hovers. Whenever you see her take off into the air and fly, that's me dashing forward. Um, so it's very easy. I say easy. It's not really, but it's meant to be very easy to. Oh, nice stuff her on a button. She tried to press something right there. It's very easy to anti-air her um, on approach because the only way she really does get in is either with her stroke the big tree move, which is that that slide across. There it is, right there. That slide across the ground, or she comes in from up high. Um, she has a lot of air options and one decent ground option, stroke the big tree for getting in. Other than that, you could set up a projectile and chase behind it, kind of thing. Um, but ultimately, if the opponent is very good at anti-airing, like I've fought some opponents that are just on top of their anti-air game and I can't do anything. Oh yeah, cancel there. Um, I should have set up that, that fireball sooner to try and catch her jumping forward, but it's okay. Oh, look at that, and the quick hop. The quick hop. The one thing Eno has going for her is her quick hop game. She, because her dash puts her in airborne status, like she goes up into the air very, very quickly, she can do really fast highs. So we took the first, the first match right there the first game. Uh, feeling good about that, coming back from that first round loss. Um, trying to get in through the air here, throw a fireball. I didn't expect her just to run up. She just runs up on me. Um, didn't expect that either. I, I, I'm not used to Milia's speed. A lot of other characters in the game are a lot slower. Milia and Chip are the two fastest characters. I think Milia's second quickest. Whiffed my throw right there. She didn't punish me, thankfully. 
Um, still getting used to the uh, the frame timing for when I can get a perfect throw after I uh, put her in block stun with my fireball. Because her fireball, um, Eno's fireball, uh, has more hits the further away they are from you, the opponent. So if I fireball from full screen, she has to block like five hits. Oh, that wake up super invincible. Get that mix off me. <laughs> but if you fireball up close, it's like two hits. It's, it's kind of strange. Um, you're, you're encouraged to fireball from further away, basically, and less up front. Just random fireball like that. Look at her. Look at her. Ah, oh, throwing out her, throwing out her supers. She does another one here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the scramble is real. No! <laughs> no! Milia and that hair. I respect the red, by the way. I respect the red color. Tomato Milia? I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Got nothing on my purple Eno, though. The Beals colored Eno. If the, the aqua blue accents were black, perfect. But she's got enough black on her. Don't worry, don't worry. We're getting in, we're getting in. Trying to. Uh, uh, jab, jab. I thought she was going to grab me there. A lot of the time, players will ja grab you out of their recovery. If they do something unsafe and they know it is, they'll just jam on grab. Because it's incredibly fast. And if you press a button that's not fast enough, that will just grab you right out of that. Hit it with the gold. The, the yellow RC. I was about to say gold burst. The yellow RC and, and, and get her off me. Uh, stroke in, stroke in. No, no. Uh, uh, yeah, waiting for it. Sweep to punish, sweep to punish. I don't know the, the proper punish for Milia's little blade skirt across the ground there, but a couple of times in the match, sweep was punishing it, but at other times it wasn't, so I'm not entirely sure. Nice. Cancel. Smash. I apologize. I apologize immediately for the, the, the all over the place commentary. I'm, I'm just seeing this rematch again for the first time in a couple of hours. I don't remember anything while I'm playing, so seeing this is really cool. I'm watching all my mistakes, it's like, damn it, Bills, anti-air more, stop it, stop it. Don't meet her in the air, just anti-air. If she jumps, just, just anti-air. No, she stuffed my stroke the big tree. I was going in for that stroke and, oh, there we go, I crossed up. Uh, uh, see, I tried to throw a fireball there. She does that a lot. She just throws that bladed attack out full screen and you really shouldn't, like, it's one of those things that you just, you know, is, is a no-no. Don't do it. Um, but she does it a lot and catches me, qu like, more often than I'd like to because she's going underneath and low-profiling my fireball. Because she knows that I want to do that. Oh, the wake-up blade! That's not even a true reversal. It's not even invincible. There we go. See, she tried to do it again. And again! Lady! And she throws out the wake-up! Oh, that's not even the invincible one. Milia has a DP super that's invincible on Wake Up, but that is not it. That is not the right one. Okay, she took game two. That's fine. That's fine. We'll give her game two. That's fine. The rematch. Try me. Try me. Jump up. Avoid that sweep. She's trying to sweep me on, on round start because she thinks I'm going to... I'm going to stroke. Catch her in the air. <gasps> There's her forward P. That's her anti-air. You'll see her doing anti-airs a lot better than me. Uh, Rainmaker here is far better at anti-airing me than I am anti-airing him. Yep, try and get in. I'm just trying to get in. I just want to get... See that right there? The anti-air on that forward punch when I tried to hop over? She knows, alright? She knows that I, I need to get in with my dash, and that if... There we go. If I do the heavy slash version of my stroke, I've got two strokes, two of those electric slides right there. I've got a fast one and a slow one. The slow one leaves me positive on block, the fast one leaves me negative. So if I use the, the slow one, and she blocks it. It's still my turn. I still get to press buttons, but it's it's not her turn. I adapt gradually to doing this. Oh, the mix. Look at that true mix. That was fantastic. Beautiful mix. The super didn't connect, though. Apparently, that does work if you're close enough to them in the corner. But not this time. Um, going in, trying to get some pressure. Roman cancel that. I went for the grab. I went for the grab right there. And she jabbed me out. I, I don't think I was, like, timing right anyway. Because the, the grab shouldn't have whiffed. It was either going to grab her or sure she jabs me, and I think I, I did it too early. Anyway, um, I'm trying to save myself here. She's up one round. In the third and final game, you only get three games. Win or lose, you only get uh, three. Kind of weird, because you think it's like best of three, but if you win two in a row, you still play the third game. Right there. When she goes under me, is there anything I can do right there? I have no... Look, again, I want to be able to do something about that, but maybe I should just block it and punish instead. That was a very late purple RC, but whatever, we'll take it, we'll take it. We're fighting back, we're fighting back. Cross up. She wasn't ready to block the other way. She actually changes her, her defense. Oh, look at that, look at that. I stuck the kick out, she backdashed, and she tried to run up and punish me for my, my attempt, but she walked right into the sweep. What she didn't realize was that I was going to mash sweep no matter what. <laughs> oh no, the grab! Stop it! Stop it! Leave me alone, leave me alone! 
Oh, she's so in. I'm just in. All right, burst. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. You can see my burst meter up above, uh, below my health. That builds up gradually over the course of the match. It's just a free get off me tool, basically. Um, I have no idea how much any of you guys know about Guilty Gear or fighting games in general, so if I'm over-explaining anything, I'm trying to not over-explain too much, but explain a little bit, just in case. All right, full screen. This is this is where we don't want to be. We want to be in there. She's getting danger. Um, she's getting a meter penalty because she's being, you know, a little bit too safe and not going in. The game encourages you uh, to to play aggressively. If you if you don't go in, the throw, the tick throw, perfect. I got it that time. I got it that time, and we take it. We take game three. Yeah, we take game three. Uh, the game punishes you if you're not aggressive enough. It actually takes away meter. It, it's kind of insane that it punishes you for that. Anyway, I'll be back with the next game. And now, wouldn't you believe it? Look at this right here. The exact same Milia runs up to challenge me. Look, look at the readiness. Look at the eagerness. Rainmaker wants some. Rainmaker wants that run back. He wants the salty. We'll give him the salty. So, uh, the second set... Hopefully we'll prevail and uh, maintain our win. We won two, two to one last time in the last set. Jump back. I'm not taking any chances with that sweep. Trying to move in. Oh, she, look, look at the air movement. Look at the air movement. Ah, she gets in with that that bad moon. Cat, there we go. Look at that. Catch her with the with the jumping heavy. Oh, we're getting we're getting in. We get. No, she jumped out. She jumped out. I'm trying to get it with that slow, the slow stroke. But she started jumping on my strokes now. I think she's realized that I'm doing the slow one a lot more. But if I go back to doing the the small the the short one, the quick one rather, the slash version, she'll start adapting to that as well. Rainmaker's pretty good at adapting to situations. Look at this pressure. Get me out of here. That was my forward P. Must have caught her doing a, a maybe a jump attempt by the looks of it. No, I messed up my cancel. But it's okay, I catch her anyway. I did the wrong I did the wrong Roman cancel there, but I should have like stepped back a little bit before I did my uh, my air combo there. I, I whiffed and went right past her. No! <laughs> I'm walking into this standing slash. Millia's uh, standing slash, that, that like, spiking air, that right there, spiking the hair into the air thing, that's really fast. That's like a very fast button. I can see why she's running in to do it a lot. It's it's, it's very quick. Um, no, she's jabbing me out. See that? I'm testing her now. I'm doing it, and I'm, I'm like testing to see when- oh, yeah, oh! That's the wrong way to do that. Yep. Catch her there. Yep. No! Oh, look at all these counters! The scramble! There's the super. She wakes up with the invincible super. Angel hair catches me. Please do not die here. D yes, the quick hop. <laughs> I don't know if she pressed a button or blocked low, but we catch her with the quick hop overhead. Um, yeah, I, she, I'm testing to see if she's uh, still adapting to my, my quick stroke or my slow stroke. Because I still want to do more slow strokes to try and uh, frame trap her. If she presses a button after slow stroke, it's my turn and I win. I tried to down slash right there. I was going to poke her, but her her sweep is so much faster than, than half my grounded buttons. Millie is all about speed. She's just very fast. She uh, she takes a lot of damage, though. She she has... Uh, the way that people word it is that they have less health. Her and Chip have low HP. But I think what it really means is that they have low guts. Um, they just take more damage, basically. I think their HP values are the same, but they take more... Um, Weird way of doing it, I know, but it, it makes sense in the context of the game. Don't worry. Anyway, burst her off me right there. We're getting her low. Yes, catch the attempt. She- Oh, stuffed up. That's not the invincible super. I tried to jump up and grab her right there. I tried to do a purple cancel, jump grab, and be a totally cool pro awesome player. No, 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 no. Oh! <laughs> I remember that happening. That's the combo. I told you that it connects if you're close enough to the corner. She whiffed that a few times before and it missed. Oh, that standing slash. Yes, catch her, catch her. Get her in the corner, get her in the corner. Bully her, overhead, counter. You bursting on me? No, get right back in there, right back in there. Pressure, cancel. Get it, get it. Standing dust, jam on her. Perfect. Ah, oh, feels good, feels good. Revenge for that that first round that I've got robbed on. I got robbed. <laughs> I got, no, her 4P, she's anti-airing me. Like I said, that right there, that setup where she jumps up and just comes down with the with overhead heavy into Moon, and she just did it again. She just did it again. I said to myself, okay, she's doing this now instead of going low. Look, she did it again! Third time! I am not adapting. I need to I need to get used to Ford P. I'm trying to do other things that are the wrong buttons to press. Oh, the reach! Yep, yep, the scramble. There we go, I did it. Ah, oh, but I dropped it. I caught it with the, with the jump dust, but I, I missed the follow-up. Burst. I wanted to get gold burst there, but whatever. 
There's the fast stroke, and I blocked because I assumed that she was going to jab out. So I need to go back to slow strokes. Slow strokes. Aim it high. Catch her with the jump. Slow strokes. No, that's the fast stroke. Sweet. Didn't set up any projectiles. Slow stroke. Quarter with it. Jam on her. Jam on her. There we go. The slow stroke quarter pressing buttons. It is. It's like a frame trap if if she presses things that are that are high, because the stroke is a low profile. It'll go right underneath whatever she presses if it's not already a low. And anyway, we, we take that that match. We take the first game after losing the first round. Pipe. Second coming up. Oh, and she see that right there. I think I can punish that better than what I did, but I'm not I'm not good at punishing that move. I need to just go into the lab and 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 train that out. See right there. That counter that hit me was my attempt at an anti-air, but I was just too slow with it. If I was quicker, would have worked. I'm doing fast stroke and she's jabbing. All right, time to go back to slow stroke. Fast stroke isn't working. There we oh, oh, cancel it. Ah, oh, and she bursts. I just want to do my combo. Let me do my combo. I was back dashing. She caught me with that that blade again. Do it again. I dare you. Yeah, that's right. My standing slash, my fast slash is further than your fast slash. I should be outspacing her, but I'm not. She's just so fast. She did it again. She went in, she backdashed, tried to run in. Yes, catch her with the counter. No! <laughs> I've got to get used to, I've got to go and practice that too. What do I do on, on counter hit with my forward heavy? Once again with that low, catching me all the time. All right, she's backing up a lot. She's, is, is she, she's approaching danger here, right? Yes, there's danger. She's going to start losing meter because she's running away too much any longer and she's going to get negative penalty and lose it all. We catch her with the overhead. She wasn't ready for that one. She tried to anti-air with her standing slash probably and bad angle. She got clipped. Oh, yes. The jump up dive, my dive on, on top of her, uh, but then I immediately get caught with a big combo. And then I tried again to anti-air. Uh-uh, jab out, jab out. Don't want that, don't want that. No, that was my attempt at a slow, slow stroke. I'm waiting. I'm, uh, yes. Yes. No. Bad. Bad conversion. Do a better conversion than that, Beals. Learn. You need to learn. There we go. Cancel. Yeah. Ah, oh, and I missed it again. Wait, raw super? No. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not even there, lady. I could have punished that so much better. Like I said, I'm, I'm, scrub tactics. Burst. Get that off me. I don't want that. Don't put me in the corner. I need to punish these, these, uh, what? That no, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Catch you with the jumping, the jumping slash into basic stroke combo. <laughs> I need so much practice. Before this recording session, I hadn't played the game in like 10 days, right? It's like more than a week. And the rating update, no! It kicks us out prematurely because I'm getting bumped up to floor nine. This is how the rank system works. You go up through floors, and as you can see, I can't go back down into eight, seven, and six floor. So that means here we are on floor, what was it again? Nine? Am I on nine now? Floor nine, up against Daisy, the Zato 1 player. This is the very first Zato I've ever played. Is he going to accept? How long did I sit here waiting for him to accept the match? Oi. So Daisy finally accepts the match. Let's begin my first Zato fight. Now Zato is a puppet character. He summons this little shade, little Eddie, who, uh, who fights with him. You can command him. There he is right there, doing doing nasty things. Um, very much a mid-range fighter. Ugh, I'm, I'm struggling to get out of the corner now because I put myself in this situation. But I figure what I need to do is start doing Eno stuff. Just, just stop respecting what he's doing. Jab out Eddie. Just get in and start doing Eno stuff. Don't let him do whatever he wants. There we go. Sweep into Fireball. Catch him lacking. Catch him lacking. All right. He's blocking the, the, the fast stroke. We need to start doing slow stroke. Nah, get in there. Dude, slow stroke. There we go. He didn't know, so we're going to punish him with the sweep because it's still my turn. It's... Uh, nope. That was a fast stroke, but I need to convert that. Oh, I missed. I was going for such a cool combo, too. My chemical love missed. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We catch him lacking. <laughs> Zato's biggest weakness is his defense. Offensive-wise, he's, he's incredible. He has amazing mix. He has control for days. But he has absolutely no reversals. He has no wake-up DP. He has no reversal supers. If he's on defense, he just has to sit there and wait and hope. He also uh, dies very quickly and easily. He doesn't necessarily have low health, but he has... I think Zato has like a zero for guts. Like, he just takes the same damage from start to finish. Um, a lot of characters end up taking less damage the lower their health goes to try and, you know, uh, fight through and survive. Burst out of that. Zato has none of that. He's looking throwing those frogs at me. Frog, frog, frog. Stop it, dude. Stop it. He, he likes to poke with that standing that standing slash. That Hydra attack right there. He loves to throw that out. I need to get in. There we go. There we go. Oh, he burst out of that. That's fine. Catch me with the frog. 
Lock the frog. All right, Eddie's out. His meter, Zato's uh, little red meter, now blue above his uh, his his regular uh, meter. <laughs> his, his Eddie bar. His Eddie bar tells him uh, how much he can use uh, Eddie before he has to wait. If you hit the uh, the shade, if you smack him, you kill him, and he has to wait and uh, he has to wait to use him again. So what you want to try and do is actually smack his shade. I hit him with a little chemical love right there. He wasn't moving, so I gave him the courtesy of waiting. I stopped and waited. I thought he was AFK. I was like, oh no, wait, the dude's getting pizza at the door. He's, his mum is talking to him. His wife is getting mad at him. Something's happening. But anyway, we move in and push him to the corner. It's time to start doing Eno stuff. I'm going to, to Eno this man so hard. Nah, he wants to get out. He wants to start throwing in Eddie. Nah, we're going in from high. Slow stroke. Sweet. Catch him with that. Throw the fireball. Super. This is Megalomania. This is Eno's command grab. Super, dude. Look at it. Oh. Get blasted, son. Ugh. Get blasted. There's nothing he can do there. If he's not already jumping to get away from that, he's caught. Uh, but of course, he's blocking because he's thinking, oh, is she going to go high? Is she going to go low? What's she going to do? What's she going to... No, it's a command grab, dude. You guessed wrong. It's not a 50-50. It's, it's actually like a... A three-part mix. Look at this corner nonsense. He just won't stop pressing buttons. Smash him through the glass. Give me my meter positive bonus. He, he won't stop pressing stuff. He just got bullied in the corner. Absolutely bullied in the corner. Sweep. Slow stroke. It's still my turn. Still my turn. Oh, connection failure. This is only game two. Wait, connection failure? There's... Did you see that for a second there? What was that? What was that all about? I mean, I, I, I wins... You know, wins, and then failed to rematch. I think I'll let myself, because I, I was recording live and I had my mic on. I'll let you guys hear what I had to say. My man just rage quit. He is gone. Daisy is gone. No Daisy in the floor. Daisy. Come on, man. Come on. It is too early in the... Well, actually, it's 2, it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Come on, dude! Anyway, apologies for how scrambly the commentary is. Uh, this is just something I wanted to throw in there for the fun of it. I'm looking forward to maybe uploading some more videos of matches just to see myself. It's like one of the best ways to improve in anything, uh, much less fighting games, is to review what you do and like look back on what you did and what you could do better. Um, so doing this is kind of like a fun way for me to do that, as well as share what I do with you guys and... and share fighting games with you and uh, some Guilty Gear that I'm, I'm learning and, you know, we can learn together or you can, you know, tell me how much of a scrub I am and tell me that I suck. <laughs> anyway, that's all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see more of this, let me know and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Yeah!